All right, so here's a solution that might work for you. And as stated, I did have this issue when putting together my Summer Paradise map. And shout out to Duo Freeper for coming in with assistance. Um, this is a system that came up. So basically, let me just go ahead and explain the player will spawn in. And you wanna make sure they do run over a checkpoint pad. When they're in the game, whatever happens, when they're eliminated, then the music needs to start again. So what's happening here is when they're eliminated, the elimination manager is connected to a trigger, which is gonna register them to another player, which is gonna play the same music. So that you can see how it's working, I have it set up with different music so that you can see that there's a difference. When you do your setup, just make sure the music is exactly the same and it will continue. So let me go ahead and run the test. You can see how it is with the different music. And then I'll change it to the same so you can see what it's like. When that's done, let's do it. All right, so I have my spawn pad here. They come through, they run through a checkpoint and they do whatever they need to do in the level. They are eliminated. And immediately the next music comes in. All right, let me go ahead and stop it. Let's set it to the exact same music. I have it at combat two. And then let's run that test. All right, player spawns. They run over a checkpoint. Eliminated. The music continues to loop, no matter how many times they're eliminated. Um, let me go ahead and show you how I set up the uh, mechanics here, so you can see how the system is working. You can see you can do definitely a lot of things with this system. Um, first, I have my player spawn pad um, for this tutorial set with pregame only. Um, you can always set it with gameplay if they're going directly into the game, but if you have a pre-game set, you can do so here. Just, it's really important that there's a checkpoint pad, so if they're eliminated, they do not respawn back on this pad. So keep that in mind. If you have it set to game, or sorry, if you have it set to pre-game, and you don't have a checkpoint pad, they're going to spawn back in the sky. If you set it to gameplay, and you don't have a checkpoint pad, they're going to respawn back on this pad, which may start the radio over again, the, the main global radio. So you wanna make sure you have a checkpoint pad. It's really important. All right, so let's take a look here. I have it pre-game only, player team any, player class any. There's no priority group. I am using this as island start. It's visible for tutorial purposes. And I'll just kind of scroll down there. There's no function. All right, so let's take a look at events. We have them registered to the global radio. Um, and I was using this pad for a tutorial, another tutorial for switching teams. Um, so this basically means they're going to be switched to the global class. Um, if you have that in your game, you definitely want to make sure that when they spawn into the game, they are automatically set to a global class. If you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's going to enable the elimination manager and enable the checkpoint pad. The checkpoint pad is pretty standard. Um, it's enabled when the player is spawned. And I did set it to register the player when they're eliminated. That didn't seem to work, but it is still there. Um, the player can simply run over the pad as well to activate it. The damage volume does not have any events or functions, and you can set it however you want. Just make sure it is enabled during gameplay and you'll be good. When the player spawns in, there's a global radio and you want to make sure that each player that spawns in is registered to this global radio. All right, so let's take a look at the settings for the global radio. The audio is combat two for this tutorial. Play during waiting for players is no. Play during game countdown is no. However, if you do want this to be there, you can set that to yes. Play during gameplay is yes play during round in is no, and so on.
Play at location is set to registered players and can be heard by registered players. All right, functions. We have register player when they respond into the game. You can also use a mutator zone for this. So if you wanted to register all the players at once, then use a mutator zone in your pregame or your game spawning area. And when player enters the zone, you want to register the player. They will be unregistered when they are eliminated and that's going to be set by the trigger. You'll see that here in a bit and there's no events. When the player is eliminated, we have an elimination manager to manage that. This is enabled on game start and everything else is up to you how you want to set it. The target type must be set to players only. What we're going to be looking at here are the functions. So enable when receiving from player spawner. And on events, we're going to send an event when eliminated to the trigger to trigger once and the player checkpoint pad to register. The trigger basically is a buffer. You can, if you want to, try to do it directly to the radio, but I like to use the trigger as a buffer in between because you can basically set how many times you want this to trigger and then you can create a little bit more complicated system with your radio so you can switch you can switch the music so let's take a look here at the settings activating team is any and so on I'll just have you take a look at that pretty basic all right and then for functions we want to trigger when receiving from elimination manager on eliminated. For events, we're going to send an event to the radio, the global radio. We're going to unregister the player. The radio we're going to play. We have a separate radio called Radio Lim. It's going to play and it's also going to register the player at the same time. And this is our elimination radio, Radio Lim. And the, rate, the sound again is set to combat two. Again, you could change it just like you saw in the examples previously there. So play when receiving from trigger a limb on triggered and register from trigger a limb on triggered. And that's it. That's the complete setup. I hope this helps. And if you have any more questions, let me know.